Hi guys and welcome back to the Aaron in China channel. Today is going to be something slightly new and different. I'm here at AnyCubic's offices in Shenzhen, Longang, China. So you guys probably don't know, but I actually own a 3D printer from AnyCubic. I own the Photon Mono 4K. You can check out some of the prints I've done here. I actually used this printer to make some miniatures for playing D&D. And once I found out that AnyCubic was based here in Shenzhen, China, I reached out to them through LinkedIn and they were nice enough to invite me over to take a look at some of their new products and to take a look behind the scenes here at AnyCubic Shenzhen, China. So why don't we get started by looking at some of their products, some of their new products as well. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and look inside of the showroom here and um, I'm also joined by Michael here from AnyCubic, who uh, we just did a live stream together and uh, he's the one that knows all about these cool products. So first of all, let's just show you some of the amazing 3D prints that they have on display here. This is pretty cool. This is uh, the Night King from Game of Thrones. They also have a, a large Bing Dun Dun. I printed one of these myself, but a much smaller version and you can see they have their resins behind them there so anycubic do a bunch of different 3d printing machines this is one of their fdm printers uh, this is the viper um, now with this kind of printer as i'm sure most of you watching this know this has a nozzle that filament is led into and it will move this build plate and build layer on layer now, one of the printers that I own is similar to this, the Photon Mono X, um, which is called a resin printer. So the vat here at the bottom is filled with resin, and then the build plate is lowered, and layer by layer, the UV light cures the resin to make a print. Something like this. You can see here, this is a Eiffel Tower that has been made by using resin and it's been built layer by layer it's just one of the other awesome 3d prints that they have here these are much better and bigger than anything i have printed see here they have the superman so like i said i, I use these prints mainly for D, D minis and you can see here they've made some really cool ones like this beholder and they have even printed them and painted them themselves <laughs> um, so i came here today to speak with matthew not michael i'm awful with names uh, about the new photon mono m3 you can check out the video we did for their youtube channel in the description below so what we're going to do is we're going to line up some of these printers and give you a look at what at all of the technology that anycubic has to offer um so why don't we go ahead and cut to that so i'm here joined with matthew from anycubic he was nice enough to show me some of the printers that they have here and talk to us a little bit more about anycubic so could you tell us the history of anycubic yeah sure so simple history we are found we were founded in uh, 2015 so now is our seventh year uh based in shenzhen for all the time all the production lines are in shenzhen also and uh, now we're up to 600 employees and uh, we sell and ship the products uh, all around the world, no limitation. So you've grown quite a lot in these last seven years as a company, right? Yeah, sure. And unfortunately, due to the, the epidemic and the, the prevention measures at the moment, I wasn't able to see the manufacturing plant, but um, did you guys make all of your printers um, here in Shenzhen mm -hmm. and ship them from here? So. I thought we would take a look at all of your products, starting from some of the older ones to the new line that you have. So why don't we begin with this one, the, the Photon Mono. Can you tell us a little bit more about this printer? Sure. So this printer is one, it's not actually not the, not the oldest that we have, but uh, it's one of the oldest, it uses LCD technology. Uh, this one is uh, resolution, 2K resolution. Um, what can I say more? It sells quite quite well also. 
produce some nice prints. So after you guys had finished with the mono, it looks like you guys expanded in exactly. more ways than one. This looks much bigger than the Yeah, it is. Like we, our ideas have to was to produce the mono Big Brother, so we call it the Mono X. And obviously every kind of settings have been double or triple. Like the resolution is far better. The volume also is uh, is have been increased like drastically and uh, add some new components, like for example, the app control, so we can remotely uh, monitor the, the prints, which is kind of interesting. And uh, that was also one quite famous printer. Moving on, we have uh, your first in your DLP line. Am I right? Exactly. Uh, so this one, we will make a jump, a big, quite a big jump forward. This was released in 2021, last year. Uh, we made, made a Kickstarter this one so that's why everybody not everybody but many people have heard about this one it's uh, our first our first dlp and uh, the world first dlp for this kind of product like we say consumer based product uh, consumer grade printers so this is the first dlp for this one uh, the dlp differs uh, of the lcd uh, by the lighting system it uses so LCD actually shoots the light vertically from bottom to up and DLP they're using like a side projector. They're going to shoot a, with say a DMP device, which means it is composed of a millions of sla small mirrors and the mirror is actually going to help uh, target the, the area that should be lighted. So there's not a whole exposure, there's a more precise exposure. The one that got me into the Anycubic ecosystem was this one here, the Photon Mono 4K. Okay. So actually we decided, because the Mono was, was a success, and we decided to make an upgrade version of this one. So you can check that the, the size is quite the same, actually. It's just the, the resolution, the precision, and the, the prints that you're going to have, the prints result that you're going to have with this one is going to be much better. And uh, of course, is uh, that was also an economic price, economic choices, because we we realized that many people could not afford maybe the Mono X, but wanted to have like some more precision prints. So we decided to make the Mono the Mono 4K. Yeah. So from what I was learning about speaking to the Anycubic team members, they really want to make 3D printing affordable for everyone. So they've done that through the Photon Mono 4K. It was quite cheap in order to get into this hobby. Um, and now you guys have recently released yeah. a new printer. Very, very, very. So this is the Photon Mono M3. Actually, yeah, actually it's uh, released like one month ago, something like this, it's really, really brand new. Uh, what can I say about this one? It uses uh, a different lighting source, like a more powerful lighting source here. Um, the resolution has been increased from the 4K uh, we call it the 4K Plus. What's interesting about the Photon Mono M3 is it's very affordable. I think it's $299, which is similar price point to the Photon Mono 4K, for instance. Mm -hmm. And what you get here is a larger build volume. You're going to be able to build higher vertically and horizontally. And the build plate is much bigger. What you can achieve in quality for this one is higher than the Photon Mono 4K. So it's 4K Plus. So I think the fact that you guys are able to release uh, a product like the M3 for such an affordable price with these increased resolution and contrast and lighting sources mm -hmm. is great for the 3D printing fans and enthusiasts across the world. At least like this, we, we allow people like from every budget to get the better prints. And the M3 has a slightly more expensive version. Yeah, exactly. Um, which we're going to go one ahead and take a look at. So this one is, uh, yeah, as I just said, M3 Plus, which means it's a upgraded version of the M3. So you can see also that the build, the build volume, or the printing volume has also increased from this one. And this one actually is adding, have been, have been included with a, a lot of new features. Like you have the auto filling, the auto resin filling. That is pretty cool actually. Like you don't need to, yeah, you won't have any problem with, uh, with resin anymore. Uh, it has also the app control system and uh, and also equipped with a cloud version, like which means you can launch a print and you don't need to go through the USB 
uh, every time you want to print something, you just slice from your computer, directly send it into the cloud, and directly print it from here. So there's no USB key operation anymore. I think it's not necessary for most people to have to get the M3 Pro Plus or the M3 Plus because like I've, like we've seen um, with the Photon Mono 4K and the Photon Mono uh, XX, <laughs> the Photon Mono X as well, you're gonna get, if, if what you're looking for is large build plates and large build volumes, then there are many options here for you, especially the new M3, uh, the new Photon Mono M3, or the Photon M3. Photon M3. Yeah, <laughs> the new Photon M3 has a larger build for a cheap price. And uh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is your new resin. So you guys have just released a water wash resin. And what's cool about this is that it is lower viscosity than some of the other resins, which means that you can lower the exposure time from 2.5 to 1.5. You can print faster and also you don't need to use alcohol in order to wash uh, the resin off of your prints. You can put them in a hot water bath in order to wash the resin, especially if you spill the resin onto the printer as well. The water wash resin is going to make it much easier for cleanup. It's something that I'm looking forward to trying out and testing myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look into AnyCubic. Um, I was hoping to get a look at their manufacturing process, but unfortunately was not able to go to where they manufacture the printers. But I have to say this company is one of many companies here in Shenzhen, China that is innovative and is moving technology forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions for AnyCubic or any questions about the AnyCubic company, please leave them in the comments below and me or AnyCubic will be able to get back to you. And if you're not into 3D printing, you should really get yourself into this hobby because you can make some incredible things with 3D printing. I mean, look at this snake, all 3D printed. You may be wondering, why do I need a four foot long snake that can move? But the question, better question is, why don't you need a four foot snake that can move? If you're into D&D, if you play D&D or any tabletop games, you'll be missing out. The amount of money that this would cost if you bought it from a store compared to printing it yourself is a huge difference. So thank you to AnyCubic for letting me come to the offices today and having a look around. I had a great time. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.